principle number two, value stream. Now, what is value stream in the, set, in, in, in the context of information? It is about what we need to do with that information to make it valuable to the customer, to the user. It is about actually making sure that the information has the characteristics of quality information. And we know that those characteristics are things like the information is linked, there's relationships, it relates to other bits and pieces. So it's, it's visualized or it's presented in a way that is powerful and that the user can actually use. It's relevant to that particular situation. It's timely, it is consistent, and it is actually uh, you know, accurate in terms of what it does. Now, I just would like to ask you, in terms of the pieces of information that you are working with, does it actually comply consistently with that? I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Because it, 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 there are so many instances where we are actually producing information in the business which doesn't comply with that. So what is the result of that is, basically, is that you, as a user, is sub-optimizing what you need to do. Your outcome is sub-optimized because the information doesn't comply with the quality of it. But part of the lean principles Actually, if you just take lean principle number one and number two, and you just do that in your business, you'll have a significant benefit already, purely because you're effectively, A, producing the information that users want in a format that they can use it, and then, by implication, you'll stop producing stuff which consumes resources all the time, that is valueless, uh, valueless and not being used in the business. So, I just would like to tag back one, uh, for one moment in terms of my example of John and Mary. John, by the way, one of the reasons why his conceptualization of the information is so much better is because the business actually produces the information in tabular form. He loves figures. He can basically look at a set of figures and it's, it has a story that it tells him. Mary, on the other side, is a visual person. She sees things in pictures, but the business doesn't produce any of the information that is there in that format. So she has, she, she has a sub-optimization of how she understands and works with the information. I would like to move on. Principle number three, the key thing is that where in manufacturing, the, the whole question of flow analysis, which Jason and the other guys that are specialists in, in, in manufacturing lean will tell you, and that is, is to actually optimize the product flow so that you make sure that all of the steps, unnecessary steps, are taken out. Now, information also has a very distinct uh, life cycle. And Information is a, is a very broad concept, it's very different natures, different char characteristics. But in essence, all information goes through those processes. It's captured. Without being captured, it doesn't exist. It's processed, and some information is processed more than others. It's used, and even non-use is a form of use. It's actually uh, stored. And this could be electronic, could be paper, it could be as part of the DNA of, of the object, or it is in our minds. So information is stored. And then finally, it's disposed of, which actually takes it back to a state of non-existence. So, so that process takes place. But, but, it's here that the wastes of information is so prevalent and is taking place. Because most of this process actually takes place in the information workers area, and so, uh, sometimes the users themselves get engaged in that process and actually, uh, you know, also get involved in this waste process or in these activities, you know, to, to, to store and to, to deal with, to process the information. But if I can quickly take you through, as Jason's slide, which identified the core eight wastes for in the manufacturing cycle, there is a very distinct uh, eight, uh, 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 what do you call it, items, wastes, waste traps in that information process, which effectively 
is very prevalent in most situations where information is being processed. Duplication. You know, so duplicate effort has double the effort. If you look at weight, while people are waiting for information, there's a, 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 a period where people are slack. And, and in that time, you know, there is a wastage that is taking place. Uh, not used or irrelevant. It's not only the process of effectively producing irrelevant information, it's also consuming it, i.e. working with things, working through all of this stuff that means nothing. So, so it's actually, that is the part of that waste. Searching. There's, there's some significant research that shows that, uh, I think, uh, I don't know exactly the figures in my head, but there's a, 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 a report in the uh, public sector where they talking about the time wasted for searching for information in paper, electronic, in folders, in wherever you are looking for it. It is astronomic. It's astronomic. Um, rework. You can't find it, so you recreate it. Double the effort. Um, the duplication of information. So, so in, uh, in each one of these areas, there are wastes. And again, talking about lean. So if you have a mindset of lean around information, your mindset will be to effectively, uh, in the process of focusing on the value information, in the process of, of going through and producing the information in the right format, you will then start to focus in taking out these core wastes in the business. If we then take for, uh, go forward, and we're talking about lean principle number four, where the pull from the customer, you as a user can define what will happen and which information you get. If you can allow your organization to actually have a mindset of, wait a moment, the users can actually determine what they see and how they see it. And that user can see it in a different way than this user. I don't exactly know how to produce all of this, but I just know that that would produce a better outcome in the business if you can achieve that. Then you will complete the cycle whereby you will create a new culture in your organization which is focusing on uh, information as a, uh, as a process of lean, as a culture of lean, which effectively is a very different approach than the one that we have so often in the business today. But this doesn't come easy and it will effectively, uh, you need to adopt the last principle, and that is the principle uh, five, to basically strive for perfection. It's a repetitive process. And my, uh, uh, my view is that if you have a business, as a business adopt this, you will find that your IT strategy will change. The way that executive management look at validating and, 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 and quantifying their IT budgets in terms of how they focus on it, it will be focused on information that has value rather than implementing systems and actually why do we need to implement this and why do we need to do that. So, overall, because uh, uh, Laminant Solutions as a company, um, I've included a couple of slide, um, uh, what do you call it, flyers or brochures on the tables if you um, uh, which have our information on. That in particular doesn't focus on lean. It, if, uh, it actually focuses on a product that uh, I have, uh, uh, or that Laminate Solution has implemented in Spirit Circuits. And I, I leave it to you to afterwards ask Steve and the other guys here whether, what is their view in terms of that and, and what benefit that they that have in the business. Um, so, uh, so you're welcome to effectively have a, uh, have a look at that. We've also developed an approach called Rapid Lean Info uh, to help customers through this process. Thank you very much.